Hi everyone, we will learn how to change the dimensions of an image with slider. With the slider objects, I can change the height and width properties of the image. I can hide a certain part of the image in a circular way. I can restore the image to its original position. When the reset button is pressed, the height and width properties of the image are reset. I shared the source code of the project on the Turtle Code GitHub account. You can follow the YouTube channel for more projects like this. We will learn how to change the dimensions of an image with the slider objects. First, I transfer the Kiwi file. It gives an error because the library is not in the project yet. I can start the transfer process by using the keywords pip install in the terminal section. The transfer process will be completed in a short time. I need a class to create a desktop window. I send the F files to the class. I can actually do all the operations in this class. I am not adding any objects for now using the pass command. I am starting the class with the run function. We created the blank desktop window. I am transferring the builder library to add the objects. I am creating a string variable as Kiwi. Actually, I will create all objects in the string variable. I am creating a build function to set the objects in the created variable to the desktop window. I can add the objects to the desktop window by sending the generated string variable to the load string function. Let's start creating the objects in the variable string. First, I create a generic box layout object. I will send all objects to box layout object. I set the orientation property to vertical. I will create a box layout object. Notice that the created object is inside the box layout object. I adjust the physical properties of the object using the size and height parameters. I will create another box layout object. Notice that the objects are nested. I set the orientation property to vertical. I add a slider object to the last created box layout object. I set the ID, start and end values of the object. I am adding a label object. I will display the value of the first slider object created in the label object on the screen. Slider and label objects have been created. The current mathematical value of the slider is displayed in the label object. Note that the maximum and minimum points are 360. I will create another box layout object. We actually add all the objects to the box layout object. I am adjusting the physical properties. I will create a nested box layout. I set the orientation property. I will create another slider object. I determine the ID, maximum and minimum value of the object. I will create a label object. I am showing the mathematical value of the slider in the label object. I 
I have created another slider object with the maximum and minimum value. I create another box layout object and set its orientation property. I am specifying the properties of the slider object. I am creating another label object to mathematically show the slider object's value. In fact, we do the same for all slider objects. We created three slider and label objects. I need a button object. I want the visual object that I will add later to be reset when the button is pressed. I specify the name of the object and what states will occur when it is clicked. For example, I will have the value of the two slider objects reset when clicked. The slider objects that I set the height and width properties of are reset when the button is pressed. Now let's add an image. I will add the image to the float layout object. I set the color of the object using the canvas and color. I create an ellipse object and set its position. I synchronize the dimensions of the added image with the width and height slider objects. In other words, we will change the dimensions of the visual object using the slider objects. I will add an image using the keyword source. I can add the image from the Kiwi library. I enter the data file. I choose any photo. I can attach this photo. I am writing the path code to add the image to the desktop application. I synchronize the start and stop properties of the image with the specified objects. In the project, we created the E1 object, but it gives an error because the E2 object is not in the project. Let's find the object E1 first. Then we can copy and paste it. I am changing the properties of the newly created object. The project is completed. I can adjust the dimensions of the image with height and with slider objects. The object is reset when the reset button is pressed. I can change the display of the image with the angel slider objects. The angel objects will not be reset when the reset button is pressed. Note that the button is only synchronized with the height and width objects. Thanks for watching. 
If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. Don't forget to follow the YouTube channel for more projects.